Shalom family. What does it mean when we hear the Lord is God of recompense? And this is in Jeremiah 51, 56. Family, God is sovereign over every person, power on earth, over everything. In the Old Testament, heathen nations rose up and in, you know tried to exact judgment on people of God. But ultimately, God was in control and still is on the throne. Babylon dominated the scene in Jeremiah's day, but this world superpower was a prime enemy of God, and therefore the Lord pronounced his judgment upon the nation in Jeremiah 50, verse 1, and Jeremiah 51, 64. Jeremiah's good news to the captive Israelites. He, he, does, he does bring the good news. Once God was finished using Babylon for his purpose, he would come against the proud empire to punish and destroy her. Because the plunderer comes against her, against Babylon, and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bows is broken, for the Lord is the God of recompense. He will surely repay. Amen. He is a God of vengeance, and he does not play with people who think they're going to play with his children, his real children, not his, not, not, not these ones that claim to be his children that are not. He, he, he will repay. Take the time to read the whole chapter of Jeremiah 51, family, but that's Jeremiah 51, 56. The Hebrew noun translated as recompense here means a reward or a punishment, rather tangible or intangible, based upon what someone deserves, basically. So whatever that nation deserved in a holy, pure God's eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. Family, what we may perceive as being okay or good in God's eyes is not you know but because of their sins God allowed his chosen people to be taken captive in Babylon right but when they had humbled themselves and repented that's the key they would return to Jerusalem and renew their covenant relationship with the Lord the scattered children of Israel would be gathered back to their homeland the Lord would forgive their sins and restore his blessings the time would come for Babylon to get what it had coming you know what I mean? Like the days, the, the days of reckoning would arrive. The Lord's day, the God of recompense would topple and destroy Babylon and leave her in ruins, desolate. The prophet Isaiah delivered a similar message regarding the Assyrians after they mistreated and oppressed God's people family. According to their deeds, according he will repay fury to his adversaries, recommence to his enemies the coastlands he will fully repay that's in isaiah 59 18. as believers as followers of christ's family we can we you know we can trust god to punish those who deserve punishment and reward those who deserve a reward you know what i mean we put it in his hands the apostle paul explained that god will judge everyone according to what they have done so while these people that you know you may be dealing with and i know i'm dealing with some folks but God, you know, guys, and a lot of them will try to come off like they're good folks. But God knows, he knows their hearts. So, you know, let him handle it. And he will in his own timing and his own way. And just as the wicked nations that we have today, I mean, they're going to pay too. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever God. You know, he does not change. He will give eternal life to those who keep on doing good, seeking after the glory and honor and, you know, of God, that what God offers. But he will also pour out his anger and his wrath on those who live for themselves, who refuse to obey the truth. Instead, they live for their wickedness. There will be trouble and calamity for everyone who keeps on doing what is evil, for the Jew first and also for the Gentile. But there will be glory and honor and peace from God for all who do good for the Jew first and also for the Gentile. For God does not show favoritism, family he never does. I don't care what color, what where you where you're from, where you live, where you grew up. It, it, that doesn't matter to God. Check out Romans 2, 6 through 11, family, and also read Deuteronomy 7, 9 through 10, Luke 14:14, 14, 14, Jeremiah 25:14, and Isaiah 13:11. Just take the time to read that and you tell me if God shows favoritism. The Jewish exiles cried out to the Lord, feeling disgraced and insulted because of the Babylonians had, you know, what they had done to them. 
Jeremiah 51, 51. As, as followers today, we can pray and ask God of, re, you know, of recommends to bring his judgment upon those who deserve it, family. The word tells us this. But we must not take on the job of repaying evil for evil. And that's in Romans 12, 17. Scripture advises us to wait patiently for God of recommends to act. Do not say, I will recommend evil. Wait for the Lord and he will save you. Check out Proverbs 20, verse 22. And also twenty, um, and also in Proverbs 24, 25. I mean, I'm sorry, Proverbs 24, 29. And Proverbs 20, 22. Le Leviticus 19, 18. And also in Hebrews 10, 30. So we wait, family. We don't take it into our own hands to return evil for evil. When we see people doing evil... And they may be claimed to be doing good and doing God's work and doing this, and they are straight living for the God of this world. You know, they'll say they're set apart, but there's so much of the world, you know, let God handle them, and he will, family. Paul urged, dear friends, never take, you know, revenge. Leave it to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take vengeance. I will pay them back, says the Lord. And Paul tells, you know, Paul talks about that in Romans chapter 12, verse 19. So family, that's what it means that our Lord is a God of recompense and that he will always repay. He will always take vengeance. That's why we need to do nothing. You know, knock the dust off your feet. If you've warned people and they continue to present themselves the way they want, when they face the Lord Almighty someday, they're going to wish they had have listened to the ones that were sent to warn them. You, know, you stay humble. You keep your peace. Let, let their let their life continue to be of ruin and chaos. Because ultimately, all they're bringing on their life is destruction. And yeah, sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes it's sad to witness. But an enemy of God will always be repaid. Even if they claim to be of God. And some people may actually do that, claim to be of God, but are actually an enemy of God. Pray for discernment in these times, family. And if someone comes to you with some correction, and it's biblical, and it lines up with what Yeshua, Jesus Christ, it lines up biblically, then take it and be humbled. Be wise to listen to them. Otherwise, you just look like a fool to God when he sent that person to help you. And instead of taking it and being humble and taking it to the Lord in prayer, you got offended. You got offended not by that person, but by the Holy Spirit. You got offended by God. But yeah, he will surely repay. Place it in his hands.